Where's that music coming from? What is happening? Traveled from afar, a simple girl who wished upon a star. Inside this castle lies my fate. Perhaps I'll even get a date. <laughs> to my old life I sing or a bar. And you are? It's Lil, and you need a good reason to be let in. But so far I'm not optimistic. Do you have any idea or anything? I assure you that my heart is true Must this be a hole to do? Inside these walls my destiny awaits It just feels like if you weren't singing, we could move the plot along faster. Not really. I just like using the tools sometimes to... If you want to play, we can play! Let's dance this dance! Wait, are we playing or are we dancing? Playtime is over! So we're dancing. Dance to this! <laughs> I think this was that kind of game. Oh, that sounds just delightful. You know, I performed for... Excuse me, who are you talking to? What are you saying to them? Are you talking about me? Behind my back? I'm right in front of you. <sighs> it drives me crazy when people talk about me behind my back right in front of me. This is making me angry. Maybe let's try singing? At times like this, what helps is this, calming down. This isn't a duet. I'm the star here. You think you're going to burn me? It's me that's going to burn you! <laughs> that could just swallow a person up. <laughs> a kindred soul I found in my friend Lil. Best friends will be forever and yet still. I have a hunger driving me to people everywhere will see. My dark destiny I will fulfill. Well, that took a dark turn. Okay, Lil. Now that we're real bosom friends, I guess I can open up to you. Can you just tell me and not sing it? Nope. Ah. <laughs> uh. I guess that it's all so true. Why I ventured here to you is that I am a thief. And also I should claim that I likely bear the Checks and larceny for smuggling drugs and piracy for setting many fires and causing grief. So much grief. Oh my god! Just because you're singing it doesn't make any of that remotely okay. Can I tell you a secret? I may have a large sum of gold that I brought with me to start my new life in the big city. If you can forget a few things that I just sang at you, I'll give you 50 gold coins. Can you imagine? Think about how many musicals you could go see with 50 gold coins. But I'll only give it to you if you let me in right now. 50 gold coins! This 
day it just keeps getting better The cute gay guard, I shan't forget her There's nothing that will stop me now Uh-oh, I may have just made a huge mistake Why, hello, my dear. I'm just coming home from a long night tending the apple orchards. It's almost harvest season, and it couldn't come at a better time with the food shortage. Will you let me pass? I've got the first apples of what looks to be a very fruitful harvest. Tee-hee! Just a little gardening humor, dear. I'm using them to make a delicious pie. It's my absolute favorite recipe from my absolute favorite cookbook. See? Oh, man. I could sure go for a homemade apple pie. Well, my dear, the trick is the pie doesn't actually have any apples in it at all. Oh. Well, then what are the apples for? <laughs> I'm afraid that's a family secret. I don't mean to be rude, but are you a witch? Oh, <laughs> oh, my dear, it's not rude at all. Of course I'm a witch. It would be rather dangerous being out all alone if I wasn't a witch, wouldn't it? Most people just assume I'm a witch, but it's nice to be asked. I always thought witches had hairy moles and funny hats and broomsticks. I do have a broomstick. But I haven't been riding it as much lately. This war has got a lot more people poking their noses about at night. Especially nights like this, with the full moon out. With all of these candies wrapped in foil, I can fatten up the children of the sprawl. Then, with these delicious magical apples, I'll put the fat little piggies to sleep and bake them into delicious pies. get you, my pretty. And your little dog, too. What? I don't have a dog. Don't you? No. Oh. Well, then I guess I'll just have to make you one. you, my pretty, and your little dog, too. What? I don't have a dog. Don't you? No. Oh, well then I guess I'll just have to make you one. My glorious, glorious plans and my delicious pie. You'll just have to take it somewhere else, sister. All right, but before I go, I'll share a secret with you. This is no ordinary apple. It's a magic wishing apple. Wishing apple? Yes, one bite and all your wishes come true. Would you like to take it? Sure, give me the apple. All right, dear, but don't eat it until you... Hmm? Oh, dear. Night, night, my darling. Um, hi. Is this where to sign up for the draft? Yes, it is. 
wonderful. Would you like to be drafted to fight in the war? Oh no, it's not for me. It's for him. For who? My pet fish, Dennis. Okay, are we having a laugh at my expense now? No, no, I'm quite serious. So the fish wants to fight? He wants to fight, all right. And he is very good at it, I promise you. He really is quite a violent fish. Where's the camera? Am I getting punked or something? No punking going on. I'm telling you the truth. He'll tear right through anyone or anything in his pack. No, don't agitate him. Dennis! Listen, little girl, there isn't much time. You must send me to jail immediately. I pray you don't make me explain any further. We haven't the time. I feel like I've seen you before. Did you go to a funeral for a cat recently? Sprinkles, that vile beast of a feline. I am certain that cat cursed me and turned me into the monster I am today. I was barely holding on, you fool! I come with a message for Princess Desdemona of the Sprawl from Praetor Cargan of the Marvag Empire. The Praetor bid me say directly to the Princess, Egtag Maia Kora Una Guahatag. Grant me access to deliver this message personally, and I shall recite the Praetor's words to the Princess with honor. Hail Praetor Gargan! Kapla! I killed 19 other mighty adversaries for the honor of delivering this message to your Princess. I have brought you the head of the mightiest of these for you to inspect, as is our custom. No, no, please. You keep it. But then how will you know I am worthy of delivering the words of the Praetor to your princess? You know what? I'll take your word for it. Curious. Hmm. Very well. Are you sure you want to challenge me to ceremonial combat? Ha <laughs> ha! You are indeed brave, little one. Brave and stupid. Let the combat commence! Kapla! Now listen up, Rook. The Marvog are a very dangerous foe, renowned for their skill in combat. They never travel unarmed, so she's probably packing tons of ceremonial weapons on her. I cannot stress this enough, do not try to disarm her! It will be seen as a challenge and result in your certain death. I lose too many guards this way, just let her in. You are impressed by my ceremonial weapons. Each of these weapons have drank their fill of blood in ceremonial combat, or of the blood of those who tried to remove them from me. Did I stutter? The blood of those who tried to remove them from me stains these weapons. Ha <laughs> ha! You are indeed brave, little one. Brave and stupid. Let the combat commence! Kapla! Oh, 
Oh, hi. You must be Lil. I was told to come to these gates so that I could be looked after by you. <laughs> I'll be heading in now unless you need something else from me. So, who told you to come see me? Aw, oh, jeez. It's kind of a top secret project I'm working on. I don't think I should say much more about it. It's on the up and up, but I'm afraid it's also pretty hush-hush. Up and up and hush-hush, eh? Well, that all sounds real legit to me. Probably shouldn't even ask any more questions. I should probably just let you right on in. You're being sarcastic, right? Duh. I was told you were sarcastic. Good I am in the right place. <sighs> Once again, it's up to Malcolm to figure everything out. Lil, you have a monster manual, do you not? I do. And in it, is there or is there not an entry titled Mole Person? There is. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Are mole people listed in the monster manual? You think I'm a monster? No, 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 not me personally, but it's in the book. I am not a monster. I am a person, a mole person. If you prick us, do we not bleed? Well, that's a bad example. We don't bleed easily. Mole people have exceptionally fast healing, but that's pseudoscience for another impassioned speech. I am not a monster. And I do not care to be labeled as such. With that, I shall take my leave. Goodbye. Huh. Well, that went poorly. Nice work. God, you are so insensitive. Yesterday, we captured an enemy spy who confessed that they were meeting with their informant, who is part of the GLA. But before we could get a name out of them, the spy chomped down on a poison tooth. We've gathered six suspects. One of them is definitely the traitor, but so far, they're all sticking to their stories. Well, I have done this once before, but it was a low-stakes situation with my little friends. Eh, I guess I'll see what I can figure out. Listen, I know everyone's gonna think it was me because I'm a literal mole. But last night I was at a bar in Little Ogre Town watching the Goblin Ball game, I swear. I never miss a game, even when they're out of town like they were last night. Last night, I was here with Chuck organizing flyers for the war rally. You can ask him yourself, but if you're looking for a mole, look to my left. They're literally a mole. What more could you ask for? As to who the traitor is, I don't know what else to tell you. Don't overthink it. They're a freaking mole person. You're looking for a mole. Come on. So, Lil, who is it? Who is the traitor? I think it was... The mole person. But... It's true you are a mole, correct? Yes, but... Since we are indeed looking for a mole, I don't think we need to look any further. Carl, take them away. No, you listen to me. I'm innocent. We mole people have been wrongfully accused of things all of our lives just because of our race. We're mad as hell and we're not gonna take it anymore. Mole people everywhere, attack! Last night, I was attending my sister-in-law's cousin's nephew's birthday party. It was quiet down by the Goblin Bowl arena, with it being an away game and all, so I didn't see anyone on my way home. I don't know why anyone would suspect me. I have a leftover apple tart in my freezer to prove it. So, Lil, who is it? Who is the traitor? I think it was... The Halfling! No one would travel to such a distant relatives for mere tarts. You're going to jail. Oh, mercy me. Seems I'm in a real pickle now. 
enjoy it. It'll be the last pickle you ever eat. Take them away, Carl. No, I don't think he'll be doing that. A halfling always has an escape plan. Carl, block the exits! You're not going anywhere! You're quite right, Chuck. And sadly, neither are you. I'm innocent, but since you don't believe me, I've rigged this place to blow just in case. See you all on the other side! Attention! Second Lieutenant Wilbur Caboose Orville, reporting for duty. I've been flying the Green Baron for years now, earned my wings under King Oswin himself. That was back when you didn't see a whole lot of goblins in the air. She's a good plane and true. It's what's inside that counts. <laughs> Wink. You don't say wink, you just do it. What's inside, Willie? That's where the goblin engineering really gets to shine. I'm not at liberty to say exactly what it is, but rest assured, it will blow those bastards away. Haha. -ha. It's a bomb. You're describing a bomb. Oh no! The inside the park home run! It's incredibly unstable! Good evening, child. I have not seen you at the post before. Yeah, you know how it goes. Drew the short straw this time. Burning it at both ends, you know. Just gotta keep on trucking through. I hear you. Working the graveyard shift myself. Yeah. You said it. What did you say your name was, sir? <sighs> Heinrich. And last name? Von Pyer. Von Pyre? Von Pyre. Title? Uh, Count. Your name is Count Heinrich Von Pyre? Yes. That's a fun name to have. It is? <laughs> it is! Hi, thank you, little girl. I happen to come from a long line of Von Pyres. I have no doubt in my mind. Those would be my fillings. If you would like a closer inspection, all you need do is come closer, child. Hold still, I'm gonna need to x-ray you. As long as it's not one of those that uses ultraviolet light. it does use ultraviolet light. Next! It is imperative that you invite me in! The sun is coming up! After our last interaction, you know, the one where you wasted my evening counting that infernal bag of rice, I met my lovely bride, Myrna, who now waits for me with a group of our close friends and family to tie the knot in the vampire crypt. Please, invite me in for eternal love's sake. It just sounds so creepy when you ask me to invite you in. Like every human instinct tells me not to. Just give me more to work with, Heine. Heinrich, 
Well, Lil, as you may or may not know, in addition to being a vampire, yes, I said it, I am a chiropractor for creatures of the night. We feel pain too. Good lumbar support is rare these days. Well, I wish to continue to be a pillar of my community. I wish to marry the love of my life, Mirna. And we hope to start a family together someday. Can vampires be dads? I mean, I wasn't really looking to have the talk with you tonight. Ack! Not what I meant. I think I've got enough to go on now. Finally, I can still make it! I'm just not buying what you're selling, and oh look, the sun is coming up. Oh sh Phew, I made it. Listen, I gotta get in there. The whole team came through a while ago and the game is about to start. We all good? And you are? You're kidding, right? Come on, I'm Saruna Goodfoot, the Star Troll Goblin Ball player for the Kaladar Lightning. I don't have time for games right now. I gotta get to the stadium and win us the game. Come on, the big Goblin Ball game starts in 30 minutes. My stupid personal driver had to take a detour to get here. What more do you want me to say? Is it really your personal driver's fault, or is it that you have a hard time dealing with pressure? You sound just like my psychiatrist. Personal driver? Psychiatrist? <laughs> is there anything you don't have? I don't have time to talk to you all day. Dad said not to use it on trolls. I guess that's why. What's this then? Somehow her sweatband wasn't completely vaporized. Neat. It's bound to fetch a high price with a particular type of buyer. Yoink. This is the place. I got the call. I'm a mercenary. Your move, kid. Okay, what's your deal? The deal is simple, kid. You let me in, and I will jumpstart your city's defenses and give your leadership precious information about your enemies. Oh, cool. Not so fast. You don't let me in. I'm taking the same info about the sprawl and selling it to the highest bidder. Okay, come on in. Not so fast. It'll cost you. How much? Well, that's up for negotiation. How do I know you're not gonna take the money and run? A Bangalorean always keeps their word. Whoa, that's a goofy name. Grr, 2,000 gold. You don't bring a whip to a blaster fight? of the trade. You have yours, I have mine. Yoink! What? Aw, oh, dang it. Ouch! Jeez, kid! You gotta be careful with that! If I still had my blaster, you'd be a pile of ash now. 
I'm charging you 2,000 gold for doing that. Fine, but when I get out, I'll take my intel about the sprawl and sell it to the highest bidder, who will probably be Marvog. Yeah! It is the same little guardsman who admitted Scary Tree Monster in our previous encounter. You are now looking at me, a scary tree monster. I ran unopposed and threatened to stomp and swamp any who entered the race against me. It was a landslide. Not sure I like the idea of threatening any who oppose you with violence. I may be a kid, but I don't think that's how democracy is supposed to work. Oh, sure. Nobody likes stomping and swamping, but without it, how would anything get done? Open and honest communication built on trust and mutual respect? <laughs> you don't know politics. You refuse me a scary tree monster? Um, yes? Open swamp. You want to arrest me, scary tree monster? Um, yes. Stop and swamp. I don't know if you heard, but I'm well on my way to becoming a full-fledged member of the Mages Guild. Heading in right now to meet with my tutor, Master Tyronius Athanatos. He's not much for having a laugh, but he's taught me so much. Tyronius? That guy's a horse's ass. Pardon my goblin. <laughs> hey, that's not nice. But it sure is funny. I almost spat out my orange juice. You don't have any orange juice. Saving it in the old cheek for later, like a squirrel. My magical skills have kind of plateaued. I got off to a promising start, but I don't know if I'm going to get any stronger. This is my wand. Julian mentioned he got something to help with my performance issues for my birthday, but you took it from him. I didn't think that sounded like you, but I trust Julian, so I've got to ask. Did you take the present Julian had for me? Honestly, I did. He was bringing you a power crystal to put in your wand, and it didn't look safe, so I confiscated it. Will you give it to me now? Okay, sure. Here you go, Gary. Happy belated birthday. Oh, it glows so brightly. What a precious... Present! My present! Ah! You pathetic smaggle! Feel the wrath of a power crystal wielding mage apprentice! you heard, but I'm well on my way to becoming a full-fledged member of the Mages Guild. Heading in right now to meet with my tutor, Master Tyronius Athanatos. He's not much for having a laugh, but he's taught me so much. Tyronius? That guy's a horse's ass. Pardon my goblin. <laughs> hey, that's not nice. But it sure is funny. I almost spat out my orange juice. 
You don't have any orange juice. Saving it in the old cheek for later, like a squirrel. My magical skills have kind of plateaued. I got off to a promising start, but I don't know if I'm going to get any stronger. This is my wand. Julian mentioned he got something to help with my performance issues for my birthday, but you took it from him. I didn't think that sounded like you, but I trust Julian, so I've got to ask. Did you take the present Julian had for me? Honestly, I did. He was bringing you a power crystal to put in your wand and it didn't look safe, so I confiscated it. Will you give it to me now? Okay, sure. Here you go, Gary. Happy belated birthday. Oh, it glows so brightly. What a precious present. My present. wielding mage apprentice <laughs> Julian mentioned he got something to help with my performance issues for my birthday but you took it from him I didn't think that sounded like you but I trust Julian so I've got to ask did you take the present Julian had for me? Honestly, I didn't. Uh, he must have forgotten to get you something and blamed me for it. I knew he forgot my birthday. Was that it? Yeah, I guess that was it. Goodbye, Gary. <laughs> I have a very bad feeling about this. I need to get out of here, and fast. Quido Ruiz, curparum nudimus. Think, Lil, think. Os pises in hoc regno, acuniste in adona solita, ic requiritur immolatio, ircis in mortem vitare velis. This one doesn't work? Are you kidding me? Quia pueresa, non costuditus abira. Paucatancum momenta abis andaquam tu consuma. Non iocari, nunc facere maliquida, si es antibi. Ego sum dima, e geos meam cisio ad similes hominis inox necabo. Nun incipiam, de deciam antiquam te imperficiam? Sige, bene. Dece, nove, octo, sette. Six, quinque, quattro, tres. Duo et demidium, duo, unum et demidium, unus. Gravissime non omnibus hoc facio, hoc extremum fato est refortende unde venistis. Ignosi haedus. Come to life. Is it the belt? What? No. Is it the knife and the hockey mask? And the knife glove. Yes. Are you sure it's not the belt? Because I have a big job interview today, and I don't want anything to ruin it. 
It's not the belt. The phone lines, they don't work. It looks like the wire was cut. Yeah, you caught me. It's a thing I do to make sure the people I want to kill can't call for help. But you don't want to kill me, right? Depends on if you let me in or not. Ha ha. Ha ha. Ha ha ha. So, what's your name? Greaves. First name, Stabatha. Stabatha Greaves. Terrifying figure of utter horror. Um, I do not have you on my list. Oh, <laughs> they don't know I'm coming. And you said you had a job interview today in the sprawl? Well, not in the sprawl, but cutting through would save me some travel time. I'm headed to the outdoor wilderness camp at Lake Scream and Die. I'm applying to be a camp counselor. <laughs> well, reapplying. Stavitha, that's a beautiful name. Don't say it three times into a mirror at night, though. I'm going to take your word on that. Maybe we should do a little uh, pre-interview interview. You know, for practice. Good idea. So, Stabitha, why do you want to work at this horribly named camp? Oh, I've been a camper at Lake Scream and Die for a while now. I met all my friends there. I died there. It's been a major part of my life. Oh my, wow, okay. Um, and what would you say is your biggest strength? Punctuality. And your biggest weakness? Probably wanting to kill all the other camp counselors in gruesome and horrific ways. How can you be so punctual when you don't even wear a watch? All right, you caught me. That was a lie, but I really need this job so I can get my revenge on those camp counselors who lured me out into the woods that night and left me to die. Let's just try to stick to the truth from now on, all right? Since you're here in front of me and not dead, I guess those camp counselors didn't kill you after all. So, there's no need for revenge, right? That night I died in the woods. A demonic spirit of vengeance possessed my shattered heart and brought my twisted corpse back to life. Now, I am cursed to wander the campgrounds of Lake Scream and Die at night until I have slaughtered every last person who had a hand in my death. I just hope I can make it through the job's 90-day probation period. It'll be tough not to kill anyone in that 90-day probation period. You're telling me, but I'll try to keep busy with arts and crafts. Tabitha Greaves, uh, you, you are hereby under arrest for the crime of wanting to kill a bunch of teenagers. I don't want to kill them. It's just been my sole purpose driven by demonic motivation since I was raised from the dead. Save it for the courts. So long, Stabitha. Sorry, I forgot I cut your phone line and didn't fix it. I hate to leave you vulnerable. That's very considerate of you, Stabitha. Uh... How did you escape the guards taking you to prison? Oh, I killed them. Anyways, guess I'm taking a long way to Lake Scream and Die. If I don't get the job, because I was running late, I'll come back and tell you all about it. Oh god, what have I done? Hello, I'm here to join my family in the refugee camp at the docks. <coughs> Aww. What's your name, little buddy? My name's Teeny Tom McGoblin, on account of why I'm so teeny, and my last name's McGoblin. Me dad and mum and sisters already came through the gates. I was lagging behind on account of me bum leg. Aww, what happened to your leg? It fell off. Aren't limbs supposed to, you know, stay attached? 
I'm too poor to have limbs that stay attached. I know your dad. He's Seamus McGoblin, right? The artist. Him an artist? No, Mum. He has a real job. He's a painter. He paints things. I don't trust this kid. Send him to jail. But he's so teeny. He's harmless. Those are the ones you gotta look out for. The harmless ones. He's probably smuggling in weapons or a thermonuclear bomb in his butt or something. He's barely got pockets. I'm too poor for pockets. Search him anyway, and then kick him. You mean kick him out? No, kick him. Right in his good leg, too. That'll teach him for being so harmless. Sorry, Tommy who? Teeny Tom. Yes? No, I'm talking on the phone. I know you are. You called me. Sorry, I was talking to Teeny Tom. Yes? Talking to Ash that time. Who's Ash? Oh, brother. Just let Teensy Toby and his brother in already. With a name like that, he's probably harmless. I'm afraid I can't let you in today, Teeny Tom. Oh, I understand. It's on account of me bum leg, innit? No, not at all. I understand. It's on account of me being so poor, innit? No, I promise. I understand. If my dad comes this way looking for me, tell him I've limped my way to the other gates to try and get in. And that when he finds me, I want him to lift me up on his shoulders, so I can feel ten feet tall. My shift ends in a little bit. You'll have to wait and tell the night guardsman. I understand. Aww. I'm too poor to have anything to decode. I love me dad and me mum and even me sister so much. Sometimes I feel like I could just burst when I see them. They all treat me with such kindness and help me when it's hard for me to get around. Sometimes dad lets me ride on his shoulders and I feel ten feet tall. That's the truth. And I ain't hiding anything except for me knife I use for robbing elderly people. I love robbing elderly people, and I won't stop. I'll never stop. It gives me a thrill like nothing else does. I'll die before I stop. No elderly person is safe from me and me robbing knife. Oh my God. Oh. Uh. Is that a knife you have on you? I don't know what you're talking about. I scanned you and it shows you're carrying a knife. No, I'm not. Yes, you are. Your machine's broken. You're too young to be carrying a knife. Mind your own business. Try it and I'll cut your f off. Whoa, that took a turn. thinking. Try it again and I'll cut your f off. Whoa, that took a turn. I'm afraid I can't let you in today, Teeny Tom. Oh, uh, I understand. It's on account of me bum leg, innit? No, not at all. I understand. It's on account of me being so poor, isn't it? No, it's because you refuse to hand over a concealed weapon that you're going to use to rob elderly people. F*** you, you f***ing knock. Don't come stepping on me or I'll knock you right back on your ass. 
Holy crap! You seem so harmless in your introduction. That's called the ruse. It's how I lure geezers into being robbed. Whatever. I'm out of here. Yes, it is I, little one, heir to the throne of Petrard, here before you in the flesh. Please, no need to bow or genuflect. No need to avert your eyes, no. For though I am a crowned prince of the realm, I am a humble man, one of the people. No better even than you, tiny gatekeeper. Ha <laughs> ha, <laughs> yeah, no. Oh, I hope this princess is a looker. I never really thought about marriage before, the idea of tying myself down to one person. My mother is getting on and insists that I marry into a prosperous kingdom for the sake of future Petrarian interests. Oh, our kingdom is almost broke, and we need to find someone to foot the bill for all these sulfur mines, or we'll have a riot on our hands. Did you just... Deny me? What on earth are you doing? Since when are you exercising independent thought? I don't care what your opinion of them is. You are to let them through at once. Is that clear? This insult will not stand. The kingdom of the Sprawl has made a powerful enemy today. A powerful, handsome enemy. Well, well, well. Well, 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 well. If it isn't the plucky little guardsman who set me up with her pal, the princess, only to pull the wool over my eyes and ruin my wedding day. Yes, I remember you. Well. Personal feelings aside, I was sorry to hear that this dreadful war has all but ruined your precious kingdom. Much in the same way that you ruined my precious wedding day. I didn't ruin your wedding day, you ruined your wedding day by being a jerk face. My face may be many things, but a jerk is not one of them. I was going to offer assistance, but now I'm not so sure. Ouch, that's smart. Usually there's some kind of safe word in place before my royal fanny takes a whipping like that. Safe word? It would be rather inappropriate for me to explain what it means to a 12-year-old, but my go-to is Beetlejuice. Just don't say it thrice. No. No, I can't go to jail. Look at me. I'm a treat. I'd never make it. I'll do anything. I promise. I'll help the Sprawl win the war. I'll tell you everything I know. Just don't send me to jail. <laughs> nah, you deserve it. Little warrior, I am weary after a long journey, and I am not used to being made to wait in a lineup. Let me pass on my way. I must rest before I meet your princess in order to win her hand and bring honor to my people. This seems more legit. This may seem like a strange request, but would you mind saying your famous battle cry for me? You mean Kapla? That's the one. I would hope that my stunning war cry is sufficient to being granted entry immediately. Are you out of your mind? Oh, 
waste of time, marriage. A sign of weakness that can be exploited by one's enemies. Another thing that would-be praetors can use against me for leverage. But for the good of my people, I will marry Princess Desdemona. The prosperity of the Marvog Empire is my priority. I don't think you know what you're doing, little one. What on earth are you doing? Since when are you exercising independent thought? I don't care what your opinion of them is. You are to let them through at once. Is that clear? I did not slay 90 ballerinas to become the high exalted leader of the Marvog nation only to be denied entry by some freckle-faced babe. Let the tomes of history tell the tale of the little girl who sent her kingdom into war. A blinding rage fills my eyes. It is the gatekeeper who ruined my wedding day. How have you, honorless child, been allowed to keep such an important position? Thank the walls of your shed for protecting you from the taste of my blade. If I still had it... Kabla! Despite my blood feud with you, Guardian, it does not please me that the Sprawl has been so brutally punished by the Kingdom of Petrard. This war has been conducted most dishonorably by those pathetic Petrardians, and your city has been ruined. Much in the same way as you ruined my wedding! I didn't ruin your wedding day, you ruined your wedding day, by being a jerk face. <laughs> your pathetic insult only renews my contempt, jerk face. I'll have to remember that one. Normally, I would put you to the blade for this insolent whipping, but as it is, I have nothing. No mighty blade, no battle hammer, not even my ceremonial combat weapons. Everything had to be melted down and sold to keep some amount of food coming into the Marvog Empire. There is a massive shortage of food thanks to this pointless squabble the Sprawl is having with the Kingdom of Petrard. You dare arrest me? Bold move, little one. This boldness impresses me. If you reconsider your choice, I will aid your city-state in a battle against the Petrardian scum. Nah, you deserve it. Hello! Hi. Hello! We would like to enter. I, I, I would like to enter the sprawl, please. And you are? Magnus the Magnificent, renowned member of the Magies Guild. Surely you have heard of me. Under this robe, which disguises us so completely as Magnus the Magnificent, we're just a couple of goblins trying to get into the sprawl. What are you doing? Why are you saying this? And maybe when we're in, see a couple other gobbos to talk about what's going on in this city for folks like us. Did you get sprayed with something? Stop talking, you idiot! What is this? What just happened? I think I just foiled your brilliant disguise. You got us. We're goblins through and through. We're meeting up with a couple other gobbos to talk about what's going on in this city for folks like us. What does that mean? 
The princess goes missing, and all of a sudden there's a no goblin order in the sprawl? What's that about? Maybe a goblin kidnapped the princess? I'd like to see the proof of that. All right, guys, I'll let you come in. Just don't go spreading it around. I could get in a lot of trouble for this. Hey, that's really cool of you. You're a friend to us non-humans. If you want, come to the meeting at GLA headquarters. It'll really open your eyes to what's going on around here. Maybe I will. Were you followed? What's the password? Get out of here, kid. Go home. Wait a minute. Uh, I think I've got it here somewhere. Viva la Gabo Lucion. Come on in. even get me started. Who do they think built this city up into the sprawling metropolis they get to enjoy today? Because it sure as hell wasn't humans. Did humans haul the stone that became our roads and buildings? No! Troll labor did that! Did humans dig the intricate system of subterranean tunnels that became the world's greatest sewer system, getting our piss and shit off the streets? No! Our mole brothers and sisters did that! The late King Oswin was a man full of empty promises. He vowed to end the persecution and oppression of all goblins, dwarves, kobolds, vampires, you name it. But last time I checked, I'm still treated like a second-class citizen. The day of the royal wedding approaches, and the powers that be are sitting fat, but they are blind. Hear my words, people. That day will be their undoing. That day will be their reckoning! A change is coming on that wedding day! Will you RSVP for the revolution? Go home, everybody, and keep your eyes and ears open for what happens next. I invite my inner circle to join me downstairs. Light refreshments will not be served, as Carl forgot it was his week to bring orange slices. How's it going, Gabos? You came! You owe me five bucks, Gary. It's worth it. Did you hear him? Isn't he amazing? What did you think? That head goblin guy is amazing. I'm sorry. I really had no idea how bad it was for you guys. You're lucky his slide projector broke down. The audio visuals make it even more horrifying. So, is something really going to happen on Princess Desdemona's wedding day? Like an attack? Who knows? The leader and his inner circle keep their cards pretty close to their chest. But whatever it is, it's going to be a real game changer. Well, I'm just glad I'm not invited. Just keep your ears peeled and your eyes to the ground. You'll get your chance to be on the right side of history. You'll see. I hope so. See you around, fellas. Viva la Gobolucion! Viva la Gobolucion! You're getting it! What's the hold up? I figured most of you Guardian Defender types would be out fighting on the front lines. Let's move it along. I got a Goblin Ball match to set up. And you are. Albert St. Lush. Manager of the Sprawl Brawlers. I didn't think any more home games were being played this season. You know, because of the Siege of the Sprawl, the threat of invasion, and the ongoing war that could destroy us all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me in and I'll make sure we get one last game. You sound very confident about that. 
What's not to be confident about? I'm a goblin ball manager. I've been managing goblin balls since you was in diapers. Besides, I've got a plan how we can get a game going. Okay, I've got to know. How are you going to field a team for a goblin ball match? Most of the choice players from the Sprawl Brawlers are out fighting on the front, protecting the innocent, blah, blah, blah. My plan is grab the best looking prospects from whoever we've got defending the walls, load them up with, uh, how do I say, uh, confidence and put the team together. Easy peasy. You think that the best of the rest from the sprawl could really go toe to toe with a proper goblin ball team? Absolutely. And just between you and me, I think there's a chance we may have the better team. Wink. You, you didn't actually wink, you know, you just yelled the word wink. Or did I? Wink. Yeah, yeah you did. Twi okay, okay, I'll give you the inside dope. <laughs> it's funny in a second. Check these out. So long as the players don't ask any questions about what they're getting, it's totally legit. The secret ingredient is pure basilisk venom. What? You think those b****s on the Milton Marauders ain't doping? You're crazy. All right, all right, all right. Nice going, kid. Hey, here's a tip. Make a nice large wager on the Sprawl Brawlers tonight. First game with these new guys is going to be huge. What? You can't arrest me, I'm a goblin ball legend! Look, can I level with you? I know this will weaken our defenses, but the sprawl really needs this right now. I really need this right now. And you could probably use this envelope full of gold I've conveniently left for you right there out in the open. That's what I'm talking about. See you at the match, kid. Bands, 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 bands! Oh God, not again. Hey kid, we've got this one in the bag. This team is absolutely swimming in a secret sauce. It's a lock. We're a shoe in to win it. Excuse me, ma'am. Do you have time to answer a few questions today? Sure, why not? Well, that's just great. Brace yourself for some pole zazz. That's a pole, but with pizzazz, in case you forgot. As you can see, the Sprawl Brawler's mascot is an anthropomorphized version of the Great Sprawl Tree, raising an angry fist at its opponents. When you think of an ideal Goblin Ball mascot, it should be... Okay, great! And when you picture an animal that embodies the spirit of the brawlers, you picture a... That's great! Thank you for your time! Please accept this decorative crystal as a token of our thanks. Is there someone hiding behind that tree? It's me, Fredo! Here to facilitate all of your illegal gambling needs. I thought you were banned. I was, but I figure I can run faster than that ogre that got running security. So it's a gamble I'm willing to take. Speaking of gambling... Here are the teams at play, kiddo. Which one do you want to hear about? What a ragtag team this turned out to be. With all their star players off either fighting in or defecting and fleeing from the war, this was a real scramble to find anyone willing to play. 
You got your few eager and excited hardcore fans out on the field, but then you got some real slobs they had to drag out of the gutter. But hey, it's the home team, right? How much are you looking to gamble? All right, kid. Your bet is in. Good luck. Let's watch some goblin ball. I don't know if I can really call what we've seen today goblin ball. Whoever rustled this motley crew of sprawl men, women, and creatures should be slapped in the mouth. Not to mention the Baron Keela Barracudas. Their star frontsman on the tube slide is playing like he had a stroke. What? What's that? I've just been alerted that the Barracuda's star frontsman on the tube slide has suffered a massive stroke. I feel terrible. Now, back to our live coverage. Since the ninth quarter, something has come over these ragtag sprawl noobs. Now we're talking, now we're cooking with gas. They've closed the Barracuda's slight lead and it's all tied up. It just comes down to the final triple hopscotch. Number 12 heads into the straightaway, hops, and they've done it! This unlikely team of misfits wins the day! Lucky guess, kid. Come back next time for all your illegal gambling needs. Just ask for Fredo. Had to have been one of the more exciting games of Goblin Ball I've ever seen. Who'd have thought that the Brawlers and the Baron Kia Barracudas could have come together so last minute and put on a game like that? Rhonda, did you see the Brawlers' new mascot? You mean that cuddly dragon looking thing? Yes, that's the one. I like it. I hate it. Well, there we are, split again. And on our most sacred national holiday, St. Swithin's Day. <laughs>